Hello there, and welcome to episode 57 of my quest to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I attempt to play maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we are in the commune of Skeun. Now Skeun is in the middle of Norway. And as you can see, it is just southwest of Trondheim, which is the third largest city in Norway. The area of Skåne is not very large, and there's a couple of settlements along the, uh, the fjord shore that, for all practical purposes, can be counted as uh, suburbs to either Trondheim up here or the town of Orkanger to the, to the west. But there's also a hinterland uh, of agriculture and I've been in this area a few times it's um, easy to get lost up here and of course we got E39 running around here as well and there's lots of tunnels on the E39 so we could easily get stuck in one of those like we did in the Lillesand episode and I don't think repeating a miracle like the one in Lillesand is likely so let's hope we can avoid the tunnels. Uh, but yeah, that said, let's have a look at some facts about Skåne Commune. if we touch on that later on let's see where are we we're on the crossroads by a lake i think yes lake definitely and let's see so it's called biavegen and we are on the crossroads on the 709 okay and this road takes us to foxet and lispetset it is a so Trunder Energy is a power company and this will take us to Rian okay and there's another crossroads there going to Osbygda and what's it what's it in Ilhaugen okay so Ilhaugen I remember we saw on the map earlier let's see so Ilhaugen is or at least i remember seeing Ilhaugen well i should remember Ilhaugen but uh hmm. well it's supposed to be somewhere but i think we are here yes most likely so let's see that looks very 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 likely so if this road goes to Ilhaugen, it must be yes, Osbygdvegen, yeah. Here's Ilhaugen, okay. So, there was always someone here then. And there's a couple of new houses, which must be those. And that's that road, coming down here. So that must be that, and then this must be that. So looking directly north, we're looking smack onto the chimney of this house. And that means, let's see, we're roughly there, I think. Which side of the road are we on? We are on the close side. Yeah, well, that looks good. And that's a good start in Skåne. And this looks familiar. I have been here. I think I had a meal at a cafe or something over here. There's a mall of sorts. So we are, I believe, we are in Buvika. 
or are we in the, the next one? Are we in Persia? Ah, uh, that's the thing. Remembering where we were. So there's a YX station. No, we're not in Persia. We are in Buvika. So there's the YX 7-Eleven. And let's see. Any sort of reference I can use? No. Mm, that's somewhat worrying. So we are like roughly there. But I don't like roughly. I want something to go by. Let's see. So if we go by that corner of that building. Uh, we shouldn't be too far off, I think. And, uh, well, actually, they do... Okay, so here we actually do have the roof of the building. So, we are there. Well, seven meters away, but close enough. And, ooh, well, now we're well into the countryside. The uh, question is, do we go up or do we go down? Mm. Let's see if we go downhill. So this is going eastwards. Right. Well, this is... I can almost smell the cows. There's a... Uh, it's really weird. I was just thinking, well, this looks very fertile and lush and everything, and then just unbidden the uh, the idea of the scent of cows came to me. Mm. Weirdly enough. Okay, so we're looking down to the fjord, and I guess we're looking across to this peninsula here. And that means, as we're looking northeast, that we could be up here somewhere. But exactly where? That's another question. We got a crossroads. Hurrah! Shetnamira, Vigya, and Bersha. Because okay, so Vigya is here. And we got the road going to Bersha, which is over here. It could be this road, couldn't it? Let's see. There is a road coming down over there. Kind of, yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? There's a long, long, long barn. And then the road comes down again right behind it. Yeah, so that's the place. Okay, so we're somewhere in this area I think so let's see we got we are on a bend and we're facing almost directly eastwards let's see is this a long sweeping no it's not a long sweeping bend so that could mean it could be here few buildings missing though. Not entirely sure about this one. This is a sort of L-shaped barn like that. And then we've got a house over there. And we've got a house here, which must be that. Yeah. So that means looking straight north into that building. And just past the middle, so like so, five meters away, cool, and 
Roswellheimen. Okay, so this must be a nursing home or something. And a rather populated area, so I may risk in the dairy woods. Okay, a dairy forest. And this is school, Bursa school. Okay, good. So we're down here. And let's see, here's the secondary school. Here's the that thing. That's Rosvolheim, and that's the, the nursing home we looked at. And we are in this crossroads, I would think. So we're looking southwest, west. And we're looking at this building when we're looking westwards. So and we're looking. Yeah, that can't be too bad. Let's just have a look north as well. So we're looking north, we're looking there ish. So that means let's see. Oops. That means I should be placing myself about here. Let's try that. Four meters away. Good. We're already on the final round. Okay, this could take a little more work. So this is heading northwards and I'm working on the road here. Hmm. Let's have a look, see. Well, I don't know if going uphill is the best choice here, but you never know. Anyways, so here in Skown, and if we go like up here, one of the most influential Norwegian chieftains during the Viking Age lived. His name was Einar Tambarselve, or, or the <laughs> Einar, what, what should we call it? A quake gut or something. Oh, Shelvegen, okay. And uh, yeah, he was an influential chieftain for uh, during the reign of, I think, like four kings. So. And his seat was somewhere somewhere in this valley, Sjurstagaran. Okay. Actually, I think okay, Eunan, Eunbygdvegen. Okay. So Eunan is um. Let's see, what could Eunan be? Hmm. I think we're somewhere up here. But uh, where? Unbeatwegen, so that must be that. And we are here, yeah, we do have this crossroads here. Yep, so this is it. And uh, the chieftain will be living over here back in the day. So, um, I would guess somewhere over here, maybe. Road is heading north, having a slight bend to that side. Uh, we've got a fairly large building there. Let's see, let's look for some confirmation here. There's a long straight bit of road that eventually starts going off to the west, yes. So this could be it. Let's just for look for those access roads. It's an access road here, I don't really like seeing. But that could actually be... That should be this one. And if I head up to the top of the hill here, we have this road. Going off. Yeah. Okay, so definitely here. And the next thing will be to identify that house. Which... Hmm. 
Is there a... No, this is... This is sort of the, the, the way they would build houses back in the day. So, like, the first farmer who cleared the place, he would, like, build a house. And then, while the next generation was waiting for him to pass the farm over, uh, the next generation would extend the house. And then, when he passed over the running of the farm to, to his eldest son, the eldest son would move into the main part of the building, he would move into the the building, the part of the building that the son had built, together with uh, with his wife, and maybe oh, some younger daughter or something, and then once the eldest son of uh, the, of the son then running the farm, uh, well, they would be waiting to have this, uh, the farm passed over. They would build another extension because grandfather was still alive, and uh, so you would have these really long buildings. But yeah. Um, there's something weird going on there, but uh, at least if I look due west, I'm looking just past the. So I should be about there. If if I'm not, I'm gonna be very crossed. That was nice. That was actually the shortest playthrough to date. <laughs> nice. And that was actually quite good. Well, 20 meters, but still. Right, that was episode 57, and that was a short one. Please come back tomorrow to check where episode 58 will be. Until then, bye-bye.